Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another anime first look. And this was the one that I've been saving because... who oh boy, I finally fucking caved in. Ever since this damn anime has come out, people have been telling me to watch it. Because there's a very specific reason why. It has the same kind of art, the same creative team and art style that did Gurren Lagann. And since Gurren Lagann is my favorite anime, people said... Oh, it would only make sense for me to watch it, since you'd fucking love it, right? So, I, like I said, I finally decided to cave in and check it out. And it's almost as long as, uh, you know, TTGL, you know, Grand Lagan. So, I'll be judging it off the first few episodes to get an overall feel. How did it fare? Let's find out. Okay, now after watching the first episode, I must say, I can see why people kept telling me to watch it. This show's fucking awesome! <laughs> It has that over-the-top epic feel that, you know, TTGL did so well, and even other anime, too. And while I must say I prefer those uh, those ones just by a bit, Kill la Kill definitely has a very good, awesome feel to it. It leaves a good taste in my mouth when I watch it. The premise is pretty cool. There is basically a fighting academy in it, and there are these uniforms called Goku uniforms, and they enhance your powers and such, and make you super strong. And it feels like it has some sort of leadership issues, as they are a little kind of fucked up in a way. And a new girl, Ryoku Matoi, arrives, and her quest is to find the person who murdered her father. So it's basically a revenge quest and such, with some badass animation and some awesome action. So the premise has grabbed me, and I must say I'm having an awesome time watching it. The characters are another strong point. They really do stick out. Ryuko is kind of, um... Uh, straight violent in a way. She's loud spoken. She's do first, think later, but she's still nice. And um, sh she's she's a cool character. I like her. I think she's she's enjoyable and she is nice and polite, but she's still pretty awesome too. And Sasuke, Sasuke is pretty cool too. I mean, she she's kind of bitchy, I guess, but uh, she can bother me a few times. But I don't know. She's she's still pretty cool. I, I can't really hate on her as she does her job in the show just fine. The side characters are all a lot of fun. They get a lot of great laughs, and they got a lot of great lines, and they get a lot of great scenes, and I think they're just really, really good. And it's just like, overall, it's an enjoyable cast. I like them. The animation is easily one of the other best parts, too. Along with the style. I love it whenever this team does something like this. They always do a great job. It just looks and feels and animates so epically, and it's so fast-paced, and I can't help but freaking love it. It takes every stomp, and it's just like a, a strike of awesome right to your face, letting it explode with epic amazingness into your eyeballs. I even like how sometimes it uses flash animation, and it's pretty funny. The CG even looks okay, but the regular animation is definitely where it's the best. The music is also great. Whenever there's action, it's awesome. I still prefer other uh, ones like uh, Bleach, Fairy Tale, or Gurren, but Kill la Kill does have a great soundtrack nonetheless. So far, I'd say the voice acting is top notch. Uh, it, it's it's really really good. It has a fantastic English dub. Ryuko is voiced by Erica Mendez, and she does awesome. Sasuke is voiced by Carrie. Karenin, I think that's how you say your last name, and she also does a great job. There's a lot of other regular Funimation casts, and even some that uh, you don't usually see all too much, and they all do great. They're all really good. Overall, Kill a Kill is an awesome ride. It has some badass animation, great characters, a cool premise, some good music, and it just feels so epic. And like I said, it's not like one of my huge favorites, and if I'm going to choose what, what this team has done, what, their, what my favorite is, it's still Gurren Lagann, but I'd say Kill la Kill isn't too far behind. If you like epicness, check it out. If you already, if you are, if you, you, people probably have though, so, you know, whatever. But if you haven't, check it out. Seriously. So do yourself a favor. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Also, make sure to check out my supporters. All that great stuff, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, suckers.